Whew. Are we on? All right. Good night. Hello. Uh, Can you see us? Can you hear us? Holy moly. Can you dig that? Sucker. <laughs> wow. It's tea time. Nothing broke. We just fixed it. It is tea time. Um, we didn't fix what we intended to fix, but we're at least up and running to where you can potentially see us and hear us. Oh right, echoes. Yeah, it's it's just the acoustics. The acoustics of the the studio. It's, it's a should little. I, should I open the door? <laughs> it's a little boomy. Where's Dave? <laughs> Dave is unfortunately at home, sick with his family, and could not make it to today's stream. But <laughs> Today's. Today's. Sorry, my brain's a bit fried. We were just trying some tech stuff that didn't end up working out. Hey, Tanya. Emma in the house. Thanks. Where's my wine? Thanks, Josh, for holding down the fort in the chat as we tried so very hard to get some stuff functioning. But yeah, if you're not a tech guy, you got to keep the audience engaged somehow. That was my job. Two tech I, guys can't figure it out anyway. I kind of know how to type. Yeah. The good news is we are streaming and you can see us. The bad news is once that battery dies, we're going to have to change it out again like we were doing the other night and have the hamsters get to running on that wheel because we could not get the other technology functioning properly. So how's everybody doing out there? I don't know. I don't think so. I hate to prolong. More tea. Just hit that right button at the wheel to the right of the mic. You've got the um, us in a barrel highlighted up there <laughs> in a cave. Hmm? Hopefully, um, we'll, see. we'll be sounding better shortly. Maybe, I don't know. You should get this live thing figured out. Yeah. Well, every time I think I've got it figured out, something changes. I don't. Name-wise, I'm Josh. This is Zach. Thank you. <laughs> Seeing how he's really busy. Yeah. And I'm Taylor. Taylor Maid. <sighs> I think. Is that a blue Yeti mic? It is indeed. It is. All right. Let's see what happens if I do this. I have two sources. I don't know. I'm about to meet one. How about, okay, okay, is, is that, that any better? better? Are we, Are we less, less echoey? echoey? Hello. I'm trying to buy something on Apple Pay. It is. It is. I am at the. I have two sources. That's a really late thing. <laughs> That's worse. That is worse. That's, That's way, way worse. worse. Is there a... Uh, <laughs> Turn that off. Where are you Is All it right. collecting audio from here? No. No, it's not. <laughs> it's worse. Oh, oh man. If y'all are watching us, you guys are troopers for st <laughs> sticking it out. We're going to continue on like it is um, and just roll with the punches. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, maybe if we turn the input audio volume down a little bit. We'll just yell. Reverse that. Yeah. All right. Put it, put it in reverse, too. Who was that? Uh, Missy Elliott? Yeah. Reverse? <laughs> put the thing in reverse. Like it is, um, and just roll with the punches. Her mic is backwards. That doesn't sound too bad. It's just a, it's the studio echo in here. That sounds good. What about now? How was that? <laughs> We'll reverse that. Welcome to uh, Technology No One Asked For, where we sit here and just have no idea what we're doing. Three idiots <laughs> go live on the internet. This is going to be really bad for the people who try to watch post live. No great content here. Yeah, first. fast forward at least uh, 20, <laughs> oh, 30 now. minutes. Oh, good so. now, they say. Hey, thanks, Middles. You have been a huge help. That is the world's best um, Discord. Uh, mod right there. 
W W in the chat for that guy. Uh, yeah, getting us all kinds of great stuff. <laughs> you really did a W. <laughs> So. All right, so let's actually do some stuff that you guys wanted to tune in and see, not necessarily just us up here like blithering idiots. Um, Speak for yourself. Give me, give me some of those hobnobs, and let's start dipping some some biscuits into some tea. Yeah, hobnobs. Yep. So we have hobnobs, the oat snap, and uh, we are dipping that in our uh, Yorkshire. No. Toast and jam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Taylor's. Twix has a straw and a cup of tea yet. We have not. Hey, look at the the OMD, oh my days emojis. Love those. We'd also like to shout out our new members. Uh, so we have a couple of members. We got BAL, we've got Yoshi, the brand new member, Emma, who just joined at the beginning of this stream. Um, oh, cookie? It, I'm sorry. It is. Um, yeah. And we also, oh, I'm trying to think. We've got uh, David. Um, and there's one more floating around out there. If you're in stream, let us know. And we will have um, increased, um, my brain is really gone. Yeah, yeah, feel uh, free to jump in. I was trying to think. I, I know this guy's name. He comments on all our videos. Yep. He's the first one. We will have uh, some updated uh, perks coming to you soon. But for now, we have the uh, emojis, and we'll be adding some more emojis now that we've got more members. So, welcome to the chat. Oat snap, hobnobs, McVitties. Now, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. You've already done it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Question for you all: With a biscuit, do you leave it completely intact before you dip, or do you break in half and no. dip? They go whole. Really? I'm going to say whole. You say half then, I guess. I, I'm a half. I was just about to crack it in half. King of all biscuits. King of biscuits. All right. That's what we all like right. to hear. So are we a whole or are we a half? I'm a whole. I'm half. See, I got two halfers and I got a whole. Intact. Intact. Stephen Barnes, Uncle Steve, the tattoo artist. Never stop hobnobbing. Depends if it fits. Dip hole and eat the soggy yeah. All yes, right, sir. there we go. That's what we'll do. So we have the the jam tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. jam and biscuit. That's way better than um. That's delicious. Whoa, that's way better than whatever. What what were we dipping last live? That's a good cookie. Big biscuit. Sorry, sorry. That oat is really good. You're an oat. Yes, yes, I am. All an oat. That was my nickname in high school. No, <laughs> oat Vicky. Oh, <laughs> oat Vicky. <laughs> Taylor went to high school with me, so he knows. I'd be walking down the the halls and. All the yo, oh, all, 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 all the popular kids will say, "Yo, oh, Biggie." <laughs> you ever did a football game? It sounds like a. Did you even go to a football game? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. <laughs> I was about to say I was on the team, and I don't think I ever. <laughs> I don't think I ever uh, he wasn't that big a fan. Oh man, a <laughs> rapper name, yeah, for sure. They call me Little O Bicky. I have another. Yeah, definitely. Jam tea. I'm not sure. It's like um, maybe I hang on. I'll go get the yeah. yeah I'll go get the packaging. You go get it. So it's uh, it's one of the flavored Yorkshire teas, I believe. Um, so we've got toast and jam. We've got um, uh, what's the other one? Biscuit. Biscuit flavored tea. Yorkshire gold. Words and paper towels. <laughs> I just lost mine. Oh. You gonna hand me a paper towel? Sure. I just don't. And... This is probably my favorite tea out of what we've been introduced to I so agree. far. Mm -hmm. This I is my jam. Put that in there to not focus anymore. Anyway. Yeah. Followed by probably like PG Tips. I think is a great one. But we've only, had, we've only had the decaf. Oh, yeah, because it was in the evening when we do a little... We decaf. do have some teas that we will be trying 
today actually after the live stream um, and uh, th that video will drop later on down did you get some tea on your glasses I did it was like a full on how did you manage that sploosh or dunk I'm um, not sure it's currently waiting at the bottom of my it was an oat cannonball mm, I like my tea to be tea flavored mm. now so okay that's that's another thing like what's everybody's go to tea as far as let's let's start with brand, um, we've heard a lot of Yorkshire fans out there. Tetley, I've heard a lot of Tetley. Tetley, uh, Twinnings. Is that how it's pronounced? I think so. And then, I hope so. like within within that, what is, what what subcategory? Like Yorkshire Gold, or is there just plain tea? I don't think we've had plain Tinami tea. Tinami. Tinami. I used to watch Tsunami. Is that when you were old, Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, PG Tips. I think we have done a jam. We did that on the uh, the podcast, didn't we? A Jamie Dodger in tea? We did. Uh, but it wasn't Jamie Dodger. It was, no. it was uh, Fox's jam. Yoshi, I'm not even going to be begin to try and pronounce whatever. Lapsang Suchong. Lapsang Suchong. Plain tea and milk, not flavored tea. Just nice, strong tea. Okay, so have you tried this? I told you we had a lot in the box. Yes, Britfix does a very good job of uh, supplying us. And we could never repay them. So we will be trying this for the first time a little bit later today. We've got the original PG Tips. Original, the OG, and we've tits. got Tetley extra strong. Which one should we do first? Later today. Smoke tea. Smoke tea. Smoke tea on the water. I was gonna go smoke tea every day. <laughs> smoke tea every day. <laughs> <laughs> Is this camera crooked? Oh, is this? Oh, is this? Is this camera crooked? Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's worse. Is it? Yeah. If your two pictures are the same here, are they the same height? Yeah, I think so. There. So you're getting close there. That's better. That's within an eighth of an inch. Leave it to us. All kinds of stuff going awry. The extra strong winds. Which one's the extra strong? Extra strong is Tetley. the Tetley. Yeah. Tetley and PG Ooh, Tips. Tetley extra strong is great. Really similar. Very cool. So, um, special announcement. Um, special announcement. Yep. I didn't know this. To me, I guess. Oat, Oat Bicky merch coming soon. <laughs> if I see an Oat Bicky t shirt in the shop, <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> You don't like my God, what exact high school uh, yearbook <laughs> photos on it. <laughs> Most likely to uh, fail oh. in life. Oh, Vicky. <laughs> Zach, Zach also had red hair back then in high school. So. Uh, yeah, not natural. Uh, that's for sure. Oh, boy. You know, come to think of it, why was I friends with you? <laughs> not really sure. Why have I continued to torment myself? Uh, Steve says yes. Yes. Yes, to Obicky merch. <laughs> oh, Mark Austin. Uh, Austin. Hey, Mark. I think I put an L. Austin. Uh, I put an L in it. Yeah. He was in a uh, stream before, uh, the one a couple weeks ago. So welcome back, Mark. Yep. Welcome back to everybody who's joined the stream in the last few moments. Um, it's been utter chaos. So yeah, well, that's an understatement. Only uphill from here, right? <laughs> oh man. So, um, yeah, we just filmed, before we started the live, um, eating a best sandwich. So we won't give any spoilers as to what we thought of it, but uh, we did have a lot of recommendations coming out of our bacon and egg sandwich uh, that we needed to try the best. So bacon, egg, sausage, and tomato. Um <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that comment? What? <laughs> Stop messing on your phone to pay attention. How was the dude with the gray? Hair? Oh, wow. <laughs> I 
school. Right. <laughs> <laughs> St. Thomas, the middle guy. Oh. I started shortly after high school, but that's good. <laughs> so my pop pop, which that's probably not something you guys have in in the UK. <laughs> Uh, he got gray hair in high school Oof. Um, and started losing his hair. They say it's not hereditary, but both my parents, 18 and 19 respectively. So. But that's besides the point. So the best sandwich, and you will I'll have you know, a little bit of a spoiler. Don't tell them. We did not use American bread. Oof. We actually got the bread from Brit Fix that was shipped from Wales. So... <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Uh, uh, thanks for thanks for stopping in, Belinda. I'm glad you could catch a lot. Belinda, cool. That's what we aim to do. Um, we aim to be honest, while also being humorous and hopefully not offending too many people. Because that's the last thing. That we're honest. Doing. I'm just sarcasm right over here. <laughs> yeah. So pop pop. That's what I call my grand. Daddy, grandfather on my mother's side. The jacket potato. I don't know if you guys have any like crazy names for grandparents over there, but we can come up with some grandparent names. You got Nina and Peepaw and Meemaw. <laughs> I have my Meemaw goes with my Pop Pop. Nanny and Gigi. <laughs> yeah, it gets crazy. And uh, <laughs> Pop Pop is a brand of popcorn. Oh, boy. If it's not, it should be. Pop, pop, popcorn. Absolutely. Oat Vicky flavor. <laughs> Oat Vicky in the house. Please stop. Horns up. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> as, oh. as it should be. <laughs> Steve. So, me and Mark have already talked, Stephen, when we go over to the His UK. Name is Dave. Well, I'm sorry. Me and Dave have already talked. When we go over to the UK next year, we're going to hit up your... Uh, Tattoo shop and uh, Christy, that's what I call. That's right what here. I call my dad. I call him Pops. What's up, Pops? Sergeant Steele, there. What you got, uh, guys? I am really curious why the interest in British snacks and stuff. It's just different, or you guys have a relative from the UK or something? Yeah, uh, that's a great question, Sergeant. When you all want to tee it off, or you want me to do it? You started it. <laughs> You're the homelander of the. Group. I just don't want to always feel like I'm I'm the only one talking. Um, so we tried, we did a UK, uh, slash British taste test. It's probably been about two and a half years ago, just as a one off. Cause we wanted to try some things that we'd never tried before. And it didn't stick until we went and met a fellow content creator of ours that lives in Bristol. He, so he's our relative. Yep. So he met us, uh, he came to the U S for a trip and we met him in Florida for the first time interaction. There's a whole video vlog of it if you want to check it out on our channel. Um, and he and his wife brought us a huge assortment of British snacks that we tried for the first time. And after that video, we were hooked. It's basically like a 40 minute unedited, raw, you know, uncut video of us just trying different things like um, rhubarb and custard squashies, my personal favorite. Uh, yes, he hasn't shut up about them. Pork scratchlings. Uh, like those. Uh, uh, hula hoop, salt and vinegar hula Terry's hoops. chocolate orange. Terry's chocolate orange. What are um, those ter termite flavored things? Oh, marmite. <laughs> marmite. Uh, uh, twiglets. Twiglets. Yep. So that's kind of where the, the love started because we tried it there and it was like, man, we got to try more of this stuff. And so <laughs> when we came back home, Somehow or another, we realized that for the last three years, there's been a local dealer, a uh, British grocery store in our hometown where we live. And um, so BritFix, we went and paid them a visit and realized that they had a ton of stuff. And um, we also made a vlog video of us going through their store. And after they saw the vlog, they decided to sponsor us. So they gave us discounted um, foods and sweets and candies from there. And yeah, we're hooked. Herd horns up. Yes. Welcome. Oh, we got a new yes. member. Welcome to the herd, Stephen. I'm Welcome. to let Zach finish his story Steven. that took six years. <laughs> See, I, we long, never. Jump in at any time. Long, 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 long story that. short, yes, Mr. H, our brother uh, in YouTube, uh, basically kick-started the whole thing. You know, he, he tries a, a lot of American stuff. Um, that you guys don't have access to. Yeah, we're basically yeah. the opposite of Mr. H. We're Americans trying British things, and he's a, a Brit trying American things. We're the yeah, he's cool. We're just kind of here. 
Yeah, we've definitely been missing out. And that's the thing. Um, apparently, Cadbury, even Cadbury UK's ingredients has been changed since the 90s. So, you know, as good as we think Cadbury UK is, we've not tried apparently the, the cream of the crop. The OG Cadbury. Well, oh. so we were missing out, but now we're here. Um, Mr. H and Brand. Yeah, Marmite is rocket fuel. I agree. It's horrendous. Oh, Carl, you're from Bristol. Very cool. We will, we will definitely be hitting up Bristol when we go to the UK next year as, you know, we have to return the favor and pay him a visit. Um, so, yeah, yeah just if you're around. Kick his door in. <laughs> <laughs> we're America, here. America, take over. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Get some pepper stuff. Sip some tea with the H's. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, we did. Um, <laughs> We did finally, a little bit of a spoiler, oh, yeah. find a star bar. Mm. So hun hundreds of comments, I think, under our Cadbury tournament stated, number one, it was null and void because we didn't have star bar as the well, entry. Well, the double-decker one, so yeah, of course it's null and void. And um, yeah, we, we've not been able to find one up until this point. They haven't carried it up until this point. I guess they saw one of our videos or your requests in the comment section. They ordered it. They have it. We've got it in the studio. We will be trying it soon. So I really can't wait to dive into the star bar. And I hope y'all don't let us down with your really high expectations that you've set. Yeah, so as Yoshi said, we do have a P.O. box, uh, obviously. We do. We don't expect anybody to send anything. But if you would like to send us People have been asking box, to send. Yes. So we had to get one. Um, yep. We will. Um... It is in the description of the video currently. So if you just click the description details, it will um, open up that and you'll see our mailbox. However, I will <coughs> drop it into the chat just for convenience. And then we will try another. Everybody says Star Wars are amazing. I know, that's what, that's what I keep hearing. I keep so. twisting Zach's arm so we can go right. today. But BCL27 has a good question. What you got? Do you have an all-time favorite British product? No, I think I know what Zach's is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to save my answer. Hmm. All-time favorite British yeah, product. Yours mean, should be easy. You only rated like four things yeah. in the history of the thing on my days. Mm-hmm. Um... Wow. All time favorite. It's tough. That is tough. That's way too hard. Even though I only have like three or four things that are all my days in my lifetime of this rating scale. Hmm. I don't think this is too much of a spoiler, but I'm going to shock uh, HP Fruity. Hmm. It's probably been the best thing that I've tried. Yeah, so um, we did have HP Fruity with our best sandwich. Well, now it's a spoiler because now he tells you that we had it with a sandwich. But I didn't tell you what we rated the best yeah. sandwich. Um, so we had had HP prior on our back bacon and egg sandwich, which I have been putting on almost literally everything. Onion rings, steak, fries. fries. <laughs> it's it's I really that, good. I put that on everything. I put that HP <laughs> on everything. <laughs> It's really good. Um, so that definitely did some wonders for my taste buds. Sorry, I realized that dropped in really, really weird. Technology, man. We are obviously not as great at it as I thought I was. Not as good as Midors, the Discord wizard. He is the goat. He is the goat. I almost did a baby like, ah. <laughs> no, we're the herd. <laughs> There's a goat herd. That's that's the, the cow herd, I guess. That's the um, rival uh, YouTube channel. Takush, I think that would be highly illegal. What are we talking about? Um, if he sent a kilo of crack. 
I don't, I don't see that. Oh, I do see it now. I think that's against some trafficking laws. <laughs> when you go to collect it at the P.O. Box. Yeah, there's probably going to be people in dark jackets and sunglasses waiting for us there to see who picks it up. That'd be pretty cool, a rating thing for the wall. Yeah, where would we put it? Where would we squeeze it in? Oh, yeah. And then, like, small decal? I like that. We can make that happen. After we change it a hundred more times. <laughs> Professor Oak said he's going to send us some poop. <laughs> Can't wait. All right. <laughs> well, on today's episode, we'll be trying British defecation for the first time, rating it on our very British scale. We're supposed to light that on fire, right? Uh, <laughs> Oh, we had that with the pudding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bloody stool disgusting. <laughs> Not my cup of poop. <laughs> what those two girls say about it? <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I don't know what's going on in this side. <laughs> hey, please. I will not be trying any of poop. Sorry. <laughs> Crack open those uh, curly whirly squirrelies. Mm. Unwashed clothing. <laughs> we do have a, a video we went to a thrift store. We do. Next up. Mm. Curly whirly squirrely. So apparently curly whirlies are not as popular in the UK as they were at this table for the Cadbury tournament. Two five-year-olds over here. Tanya's right. Poop, poopy is her brand. That's literally it's her brand. Really? Her poopies. Oh. Those are her followers. I wasn't aware. Sorry, I know this is annoying on the no, thank you. So, Curly Whirly, I guess, was a dark horse. It got a lot further in the tournament than most people thought it would. These are Curly Whirly Squirrelies. These are just S's. Which appear to be <laughs> small inch worms. <laughs> what is this? Is this caramel wrapped in chocolate? Uh, if you like HP Fruity, you'll love Branson Fruity and Rich brown sauce we do also have um daddy sauce that we've not tried yet that came highly recommended i love curly whirlies i also love curly whirlies all right curly whirlies curly. these are taylor's favorite why do they stick to your teeth it's caramel careful how you say that word oh caramel i like caramel is how yes, I say Daddy. It. Mm -hmm. Stephen just very simply said, Daddy. <laughs> daddy sauce takes a different meaning in my household. But, yeah. <laughs> Behave. Give me that bottle of Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Neil, Josh, mm -hmm. why don't you answer a question? Sure, Neil. Oh, where you guys thinking of going when in the UK? Mm -hmm. Where are we thinking? We well, know Bristol, right? Because that's where the H's are. We've got to see them. Where's uh, Newland live? Not too couple, far from there. A couple hours away, maybe? Not even a couple hours, I Oh, really? So where are some places you'd recommend us go? We know we're going to drop in Bristol. Yeah, who's going to drive us around? Yeah. We, need, we need a chauffeur. Yeah, they drive on the, they drive on the, the other side of the road. I was going to say the wrong side of the road, <laughs> but we, we drive on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, are there any hot spots that you suggest? Now, naturally, naturally for us as Americans, we have to go to London. Although I recognize that London's not the most popular place for you guys. It's more of like a touristy area. Um, but Oxford, take that down. Oxford. Take it out. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, how do you delete that comment? <laughs> uh, is this a touch screen? <laughs> no, we haven't elevated that. Yeah. I know what an Oxford comma is. This is going to be like a Euro trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we out of money very soon. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. Battery needs to be replaced, it seems, already. You live in the Forest of Dean. We're still here. Don't you worry. need to visit Birmingham. That's where Cadbury's World is. Oh. You write that down. Oh. You write that down. What was that? Okay, so Birmingham. we need to Birmingham. 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 I don't think it's ham. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't, don't do that like us. Birmingham. Birmingham. That's what I did. <laughs> That's what I did earlier. Yeah, you burnt something. 
<laughs> Bobby, I, I don't do well with the hot either, so I don't think we're going to visit any chili peppy, pepper farm. Chili peppy farm. Chili peppy. Yeah. I don't do much with hot anymore either. I don't know the, the world's hottest rum. I do love rum. Hey, you know, there's a really popular um, rock group in Scotland. London to New York of England. Too busy in room. They're called the Red Hot Chili Pipers. Birmingham is the worst place to visit. Ha ha. Okay. If only you could see Josh's face right now. Your best yeah. friend lives in Birmingham. That's pretty cool, Todd. The only good thing coming out of Birmingham is the highway. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> pretty cool. Hey, no fighting in the, in the chat, please. Avoid the American candy stores in London. We love you all equally. Welcome back. No matter where you're from. <laughs> you want to tell that? Birmingham uh, is very culturally enriched. That's the second Lake District I've seen. So. Lake District. Is that Very Devon cool. or Devon? Cornwall? Cotswold? Uh, Brighton? That's I've heard cool. of Brighton. Right next to Bristol. How far north are you? Uh, they heard my joke, and I got a laugh out of Yoshi, so. Oh. You know, Tanya, I'll, I'll agree with you on that. I've been to Chicago. Very nice city. Yeah, we actually went together. Very nice city. Although I've been to New York. Very mm, bad city. Yeah. <laughs> Would not York. recommend. I hate New York City. Been twice. Would not go again. Okay. Avoid Birmingham is full of brummy. What is a brummy? Taylor might not avoid it. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. <laughs> well, you yeah. know. Chicago is like, like Louisville. 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 Spaghetti Junction? Spaghetti Junction, what's your function? Nottingham, the oldest pub in the UK. All right, well, <laughs> sign me up. Stephen, where where was it um, you were at? Ye old trip to Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> Brummies are the ones from Birmingham. Mm. 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 <laughs> Rummy, think Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, okay. Well, shout out to the 65 people hanging out with us. 65 people in the house. 66. Come on. You have a, you're going to have to send that on Discord, Tony. That's pretty cool. Guess we can talk about some of the that we have. Reading all these comments that are dropping in, trying to actually focus on some of them. All right. So, Wookie Hole, and you should visit that. <laughs> Drive on the Magic Roundabout. That sounds interesting. That sounds, that sounds like, like a, a. Is that like the huge roundabout where? No, I guess that sounds like a drug-induced trip. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I would just stay on the very right. inside one and never get yeah. on. <laughs> Visit some castles. Yeah, that's definitely a must. Yeah, don't forget to like the video if you've not already done so. That would be greatly appreciated. I think the main reason that I want to go to London is to simply get on a double-decker bus. Okay. Well, oh, actually, Zach did ask me a question earlier about Wales. So that was uh, something that popped up in today's conversation. So. Why does no one ever mention coming to North Wales? You yep. can try a Barra Brith. Okay. Whoa. I'm all going. What? Serious, like, crazy deja vu just now with that question. Oh, that's cool. Like, no one ever mentioned coming to North Wales. You could try, like, the, I don't even know what a Barra Brith is, but I swear I've lived this before. Ah, uh, yeah. Out of body experience currently. That was wild. That's cool. I would love to go to North Stonehenge is a must. Me, me, I didn't even know that was over there. Me personally, Stonehenge is over in UK? I didn't yeah. know that. Me personally, I've always wanted to go to Ireland. That's that's the top of my Oh, good to know, Professor. Office. Thanks. <laughs> or in every town. All right, so I don't have we don't have to go to London, I guess. <laughs> we can stay away from London. Uh, Cheddar Gorge, get some proper cheese and proper cider from an orchard. Yeah. 73 in the house oh, from the herd, nice. so nice. welcome. Uh, you know who I haven't seen yet? B A L, the originator of the herd. Oh, yeah. He might pop in at some point, but double decker buses. Yeah, we had mentioned uh, we got the 
Mm, did I say that? Mm. Remember the plan we had about a double decker bus? Eating a double decker on a on double, a double decker? decker. Yeah, that is lame. <laughs> yeah, it is lame. <laughs> but you guys. That's, that's the dad. Friends. That's the dad coming out. One of my friends with you. All. <laughs> Lands. I'm sure in. it's been done before. Yeah. Cornwall. There's probably like a whole Reddit for it. What is a bendy bus, Stephen? Oh, 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 Sergeant Steel! Holy thank you. moly! Sergeant thank you. Steel. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Yes, sir. Even after all of our ridiculous technical difficulties, what we, is that? Ma oh, that's like what is that? Uh, that mask is that like? Uh, it looks like an old like mask that they'd wear when they do uh, a knight. Yeah, 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 like a. Uh, don't be jousting guys' mask. No, 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 you. it's cool, yeah, but I like I'm it. trying to think like jousting. That's the word I'm looking for. I just yes, said much that Much love to Sergeant Steele. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Sergeant Steele. And if you could, let us know what Liverpool, your Liverpool, the home of the Beatles. Uh, Y'all Beatles fans? Me? Yeah. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't either. That's why I asked. I, I, will, I will put it this way. Um, I recognize the impact that the Beatles had on the music at the time. I like Paul McCartney. But I'm not a huge, like, I've, I never set out to listen to Beatles music. I used to. I had the the album that, that was red and it had the number one on it. I assume it was just called number one. Um, I could sing you a ton of Beatles songs right now. Like, I could probably sing off, like, ten. Um, <laughs> but just not a big Beatles fan, unfortunately. Yeah, me neither. A Knight's Helmet with attached face mask. Cool. There you go. I guess. Bournemouth. So what's this Jurassic Coast? Is that where Jurassic? dinosaurs are? Yeah. We have a Dave in the chat now. I know. I hey. Know. I hear yeah. there's a lot there of UK Dave. Daves. By the way, if you're not on Discord, we have Discord. We're trying to be a little bit more active on Discord. Uh, so jump on the Discord. Uh, we got some really great... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys this. I don't know if you saw it or not. Maybe you did. Our, our new suggestion for our mods are that oh, they're moves. called Moods. Yes, yeah, I saw that. Uh, that's great. Nordic helmet. Yes, Middle Wars. Anglo Saxon helmet. Great uh, stuff in the Discord helping us get it set up. So shout out to you. I'd, I'd really like to visit a lot of castles. So like Queens from over there, too? Is that, is that their yes, band? It's Freddie Mercury's house. Yes. Okay. I don't know where he's from, I know him. Um, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> so the castles that you guys have that are like open to tourists, can you go inside the castle to tour, or is it just like something that you admire from afar in this gigantic field? Just get pictures. Yeah, because that's the thing that really is discouraging to me about a lot of our touristy attractions in North Carolina, like lighthouses. You can look at them, but you can't go inside the lighthouse and go to the top and Correction, look out over the railing. You can. you can. You can go in some of them. Some of them are under construction. So, no. uh, so you can go in a few of them. Not maybe, all of them. Maybe it was just my school that didn't allow us to go in the yeah. lighthouses, and you they told get, us a lot. You didn't get that permission slip. So hey, then. hey, hey. Oh, Becky. Get back here. Get off the stairs. Maybe <laughs> crip walk yeah. back down the stairs. <laughs> uh, hit the gritty. Uh, oh. God. <laughs> uh, cool. You can go inside. Yeah, that's like the the best part. So it's normally a small fee. Okay. All good. It's gonna need to be a small holy fee. Holy moly! <laughs> Five thousand. Five thousand plus oh. castles. Maybe we can get them all up while we're there. I didn't think the UK was that big. I would like to buy a castle. Can we buy a castle? <laughs> can we buy a castle? What do castles go for? Yeah. You know, in there's, American dollars. There's actually a website online that you can buy an island. Wow. Mm. Yeah, well, I, if we're saving up for plane tickets to go to the UK, I don't think we're going to have the, the funds to purchase a castle. I'm just not coming back. <laughs> in the middle of our city center. That's awesome. Oh, a hotel. You can stay in a castle. That's what? Lancaster Castle, the third time in us. Now a hotel? That's uh, pretty cool. All stay right. In a castle? Hey, Bobby just joined the, the Discord. Welcome to the Discord, Hello, Bobby. Bobby. Is that a link, though? I'm sure I can find one. Hold on, I got it. Lancaster. I'm out of it. Lancaster. So y'all definitely say that word differently than we do. We would say Lancaster. I think... Lancaster. Lin Lancaster. Link Lancaster. 
Yep, very cool. Like to join. Hitting us up with his cup of tea and his profile pig. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in, it's, in Pennsylvania, it's pronounced Lancaster. So if you're going to Bristol, go over the bridge to Wales, tons of castles, and Snowdonia oh, that's cool. National Park. Awesome. Man, that sounds like Christmas would be celebrated. Are there parts of the UK that get a lot of snow? I, I guess it would. I don't know. But they're like on the same like latitude yeah. as we are, kind of sort of. I don't think they get a lot, though. Seems I'm like sure I was talking to Mr. H or something about do. that. It's because they're so close to the coast or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, Bobby, do not feel bad. I am a Discord dummy. I am too. It took me like months. We're, to we're very much learning Discord. If it was not for mentors, we would be lost completely and abundantly. Also, shout out to Gina, another one of our moods. Uh, Tanya is a mood. Um, yeah, a poop, apparently. <laughs> no, a poopy. Get it right. No, a poopy. Sorry. <laughs> Scotland do snow. All right. <laughs> got snow in yeah. Scotland uh, in the 80s. Yeah, Midors, um shared a photo in the Discord, I think it was, of like some snow that they had gotten a couple of years back. Uh, oh, okay. Where was that at? Pennsylvania pronounced it the same way. I can't, I don't know if it was in Mod Chat. I think it was in Mod Chat. Or maybe it was in General Chat. My General Chat has disappeared. It's disappeared. Mine has. No, that's because I have the top one closed. Oh, yeah, here you go. Look at that. So that's where Mid Wars is from. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a little bit of snow in that picture. Oh, no. no, there's a little bit of house and a lot of snow. I have my general chat locked because, oh my God. <laughs> Holy. So I, he said. Um, I hadn't agreed to the rules on our Discord. So uh, I had uh, <laughs> he said that uh, it buried houses and people had to leave from their second floor windows. Oh, that's, that's crazy. He said the snow was in Canada, though. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's where he resides now. That's pretty funny. My apologies. I've never seen that much snow. Earl Shaw Castle is for sale. Y'all got free health care. You can trade the snow for free health care. <laughs> There's a castle in my town that's just a bar full of crack. <laughs> Posh Sloth looks over all of us. Yes. He is a dapper fellow. Yeah. Definitely one of my fave uh, pieces of the studio that's been here from the beginning. You're not impartial or anything? No. Definitely not. Avoid my home city of Cambridge. Tourist, tourist trap. trap. Yeah, so like over in, in London or like touristy areas over there, they all have people that try to get you to buy stuff. Um, There's this fake Rolex watch. <laughs> Oakley sunglasses. That's the way it used to be. That's going to bother me. What's bothering you? What always bothers me? <coughs> the camera being off. There you go. That's about right. Now you see what it's like to film with this yeah. guy. <laughs> OCD guy. Did yep. I do that right? Did I do this yep. right? So let us know in the comments if you've heard of any of these. We'll be trying soon. Uh, aunties. Steamed poods. Poods. Puds. I think Don't that's how they pud. say pood, Ain't not pud. Ain't no way. Let us know. Ain't no way. All right, chat. We got we got P U D. P U D S. Is that a they say pood. pud or a pood or something completely or different. something completely different? I could have swore it was a pood. If you type it in my phone, it'll give you something completely different. Ain't no way. Spielberg. I wish I was a Spielberg. It'd make this a lot easier. So this is golden syrup flavored pood. What's in this? I don't know. Uh, it's yep. pronounced pood, but with less <laughs> emphasis on the O. How? It's not pood, you sausage. Exactly. It's something weird. Pud. <laughs> pud. Pud like dud. Thank so you. pud. I don't know where we got this guy from. <laughs> You just kind of showed up one day. Okay, thank you. Uh, we were incorrectly. Syrup. Pud. What do you guys think of these? Pud. Pud. We also have chocolate steamed pud. pud. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh, Anthony. <laughs> Took us a minute to read that one. That's funny. You don't always read the comments aloud. Milk dud with pud. So we have that. And we also have ginger syrup pud. Is Auntie's a, a popular brand over there, or is that something... Specialty store stuff. Yeah, kind of like some of them sodas we tried. Yeah, you're right. This dude is not right. Uh, it is from Auntie's Puddings. Hubble. Put, put, okay. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait. Puddle. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why is it pud when it's short, but when it's long, it's pudding? Wait, it should be the same both ways. So if it's pudding, it should be pooed. Yeah. <laughs> right? Is there a psychiatrist in the chat? <laughs> a doctor? Something. <laughs> this this men need to be committed. Uh, ginger syrup pud. Please never order pudding when you get Aunt the Aunt Bessie. It's popular. What's wrong with this guy? Don't know. <laughs> it's just store stuff. I've asked that all my life. Jamaican ginger cake is the best with homemade Ooh. burrs custard. Say that five times fast. Anyway. Yeah, we'll definitely be heating those up for ginger sure. Syrup. We're not. Um, I was looking at the instructions. Gonna eat it straight out of the packaging. What is Mark on Luke's coconut? Mm -hmm. It says make and eighteen nuts. Pudding cup, but drop the ding. Pud. <laughs> <laughs> Pudding. Or do y'all say pudding? Oh, you mean drop the ding? <laughs> Are you drunk, Zach? No, I'm just like this all the time. Yeah. Hood. Pud. Let's drop it because. Uh, yeah, I'm, just, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm confused. We'll you just were saying, saying it pudding before. correctly. Just remove the ink. Pudding. Pud. Not pud. Not pood. Pud. 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 That's it. Rob some mud. Pud. <laughs> As in hood. On that note, hood. we're skipping on to the next. We're going to try the PUDs, bro. <laughs> the PUDs. <laughs> we also have, and I can brag on the chat from the last live stream, these items came directly recommended from the last live stream. We have milk chocolate and dark chocolate tunics tea cakes. Tunics. That Will will be trying soon. Thanks, Yossi. Uh, I appreciate the indulgence. Who <laughs> broke Zach? I've been broke. Um, I'm not sure there was ever a time when Pardon I functioned me. properly. So, tea cakes. Pardon. So, looking forward to those. It, now, I don't know if these have instructions or if you just eat them straight out of the packaging. Um... Spud, pud, good. <laughs> Dud, should. Those tea cakes are amazing. So we're getting some high recommendations. Yeah, again. Is this in the center? Is this cake? I don't know. It kind of looks like coconut. Oh, it says mallow. So I oh. it's marshmallow. Man, that does sound good. Topped with marshmallow and covered with dark chocolate. Oh, it's a biscuit base. The original is the best. So the tea cakes, this may be a really dumb question, but do these get dipped in tea? Doesn't everything dipped in tea? This is by Thomas Tunick. They wanted us to dip the camera in tea earlier. <laughs> by way of Scotland, United Kingdom. Where is that? Oh, on the other side. Not the dark. You put them in your mouth and chew. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for the step-by-step -step instructions. No. Sometimes we need the it. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. It does it now. It doesn't do we also have, and I cannot wait. Oh, no dunking the tea cakes. We got it. Yep, no dunking. We're still learning what to dunk and what not to dunk. dunk there is literally someone in the chat called Moo Cakes. I mean, come on. Moo Cakes? I oh, am yeah. super duper excited about the next product that we're going to be trying on a future episode because I am probably Squashy's biggest fan. These are drumstick squashies, sour, cherry, and apple flavor. That I'm pretty excited. sounds incredible. I'm ready for that. I still don't know if anything's ever going to beat the rhubarb and custard. I don't know. That's just a flavor profile that is just absolutely incredible. 
not really dipped in tea as a rule, but accompanied with a cup of, of course. Those are good. Oh, so we've got some, some other squashies fans out there. Professor Oak says, oh baby, squashies for the win. Something else that was really interesting that I'd like to bring up and get the, uh, the chat's feedback on. So when we started making our best sandwich earlier and unpackaged our bread that came from Wales, <laughs> yes, I, I am very squashy. Um, I realized something very interesting that you would never find on our American bread. Um, number one, we've been told our American bread is way sweeter than your bread. Uh, but number two, when you go to the bread aisle in an American grocery store, you are almost guaranteed that every single package of bread expires in less than two weeks, and that's generous. Am I wrong? That's correct. You're uh, going to have moldy spots within two weeks. So yeah. when we opened our bread from Wales, the expiration date on the packaging said 10 10 2024 and that just matter of fact you know blew my mind I, I work in a grocery store you know anything in the bakery only gets like three days shelf life what so, on earth yeah so uh, what i mean that that bread that has a shelf life and i'm not really sure when it was packaged so you're talking 10 months at least um I think you're making somebody I'm tired. Sorry. I'm sorry, Anthony. <laughs> I thought it was me for a minute. Yeah, it goes goes moldy because it's 90% sugar. Wow, that's what I said. That's moldy spots. <laughs> on Spotify. No, before before we have any other hits on Spotify, we got to drop the uh, Oak Bicky. Do you also know that, uh, weird fun fact, your bread in the United States, depending on what day it was baked, has a different color Zip twist tie. tie. Yeah, twist tie. Oh, no, I did not know it that. It was processed on a Sunday. It's like yellow, and then like Monday would be blue. Um, what brand was it? What br brand was the bread? Oh, I don't know. Usually, UK bread has a shelf life of less than a week. Uh-oh. You got the wrong bread. Well, what do we eat? Never seen bread that is that long life. Yeah, that must be a misbrand. <laughs> yeah. Um, Born on dating. It definitely says 10-10-2024. Yeah, it, right? it does. It does. Hen Henlon Bakery. It's a 400 gram white flowery. Henlon. Henlon Bakery. Mm -hmm. And best before 10-10-24. So even if we thought we had it backwards, it's still 10-10, 2024. Yeah, I'm going to test that theory yoga, yeah. Chewing on yoga mats. <laughs> pork cooked? Oh. I don't know. It was good, whatever it was. It's fully cooked. It's ready to eat, ready to serve. Oh, okay. Store in a cool, dry place, ideally not refrigerated. Under warm conditions, storage life will be reduced. Hmm. Elven bread. That's a fossil. Yeah, well, Either way, it was delicious. We just tried that today, so if we're it not here steak. tomorrow. <laughs> good old whale. Oh, so their Moo Cakes is familiar with the uh, the brand. Elven bread. Christopher Thompson from Newcastle. Newcastle Upon New, Newcastle Time. You know who is also from Newcastle Upon Time? The wrestler. Who? Glad you made that. Pack. Game. Oh, really? The wrestler? <laughs> Not the wrestler. No, no. We're the, talking about the, the wrestler. wrestler. Oh, okay. Maybe they meant 1-1-24. One, one, well, yeah, they sure did know. a bang-up job of putting it in print. <laughs> 1924. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It seems like... Did we mention how old the bread was? We did not. We maybe yeah. should have. This was 100-year-old dry <laughs> Uh, Not real bread. Children's flour. play toy. Oven roasted. <laughs> okay. All right. This must have come frozen. Did it come it frozen? did come frozen. So once defrosted, please consume within three days. Ah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah. Wow. It was definitely. We did get it in in the frozen section of Britfix. So <laughs> clarification. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. What you got in that bag? Well, we also 
by recommendation of one David Newland, but also the chat from our last live stream. We have Branston Original Pickle, not to be confused with pickles. Completely different, uh, apparently. So bring out the Branston. Now, how would you normally eat Branston? What would you eat it on? It looks like relish. Put it on you. You glizzy. I'm not a pickle guy, so. I think BAL said that uh, Branston see. is put on like, you could do it on like a grilled cheese. Um, Why would you ruin a grilled cheese that way? With cheddar and a sandwich is amazing, oh. yeah. This? He eats daily. Cheese yeah. sandwich and a cheese sandwich, All right? Cheese sandwich it is. So what kind of cheese? I need it's to make gotta some, be cheddar. If it's new, it's cheddar. Cheese. I gotta make some notations. Can I say that? I just asked to see. It. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait your turn. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I gotta go get us the ice cream because we're gonna try for the very first time flake okay, here you on go. ice cream. Oh, a serving suggestion: spoon out and enjoy a delicious pickle, cheese, and ham baguette sandwich. Mm. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Y'all want to see Does some? This has to be refrigerated. Y'all want to see some Americans try ice cream and flake for the first time ever? That was another big part of the comment section when we eliminated flake the first round of the Cadbury mm -hmm. tournament. Is you got to put it on ice cream. So we'll do that in just a moment. I would love to smell it. We're going to do this yeah. soon, right? Yeah. We're going to do this soon. What? That. This. Um, I don't. We don't have bread. What's that right there? <laughs> we don't have any bread. <laughs> it's on the table. You big dummy. <laughs> Maybe I am drunk. <laughs> I'm going to open it. And we've got back bacon. Left what was in that right? tea? Oh, <laughs> the good stuff. That was like Marmite. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. That smells good. What are you talking about? I'm not a pickle fan, so I like pickles. That smells really, really good. I'm taking this home to my little girl. She, <laughs> yeah, she 20 loves minute, pickles. 20 minute talk about bread, and then we don't have bread. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you go to the store and get your bread? <laughs> yeah, we're we'll, we'll yeah. uh, yeah, Einstein for sure. Oh, something else that came out of uh, last live. We finally have some Trebor Extra Strong Peppermints or Trebor or Trebor. I'm not really sure how you say it. I know it's definitely not Trevor. food. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jill, 70 one of the, in the herd. Shout out. Hey, 70. Yeah. So Josh will love these for sure. Once again, Orange comes from the comment section oh. recommendations. We got orange twirls in the house. Uh, we cannot wait to try. So the picture I sent you the other week, I, I, totally, I took the orange buttons home with me from the last film session yeah. and stuck them in the console of my truck. I didn't realize they were there. And then I was looking for something in the console of my Good truck. Good thing it's not hot. Like, Ah, orange buttons. So it was a great. <laughs> ah, <laughs> sounded like Stevo. It was a great like after meal snack. Tree bore, tree bore. Yeah, yeah, carvel things. I guess uh, Monty is not a fan of tree bore. Tree bore doesn't make poo. Hey, look, it's me. Oh, look, it is you. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that's Oak Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Oak Vicky, the real OG. Uh. Bloody lovely orange twirls. That's what you need to change your Fortnite thing to. <laughs> oh boy. So something else that we did not know existed, Britfix just happened to have it on the shelves as a part of their new shipment. Dairy milk mint crisp. I'm excited for this. Have never heard of a mint crisp. Hey, Carl dairy said milk. had a mint twirl too. I don't know. Oh yeah? Caramel buttons we have, haven't we? Would we, you like a we, mint twirly whirly? We, we've whirly. had butter. Was it butterscotch yeah, buttons? Something like that, yeah. Golden buttons. Golden. Yeah. So maybe maybe we'll get a hold of that mint twirl at some point. We're we're really at the complete expense of what Britfix has available. Um, but fortunately, they they do read you guys' comments. They're very much yeah. in the loop of what 
What's you guys want us to see? So we can go in there and, and buy it at any at any time. And best for last, maybe? What I am possibly most excited about, which we've already alluded to in our possession, the Star Bar. We secured the Star Bar. Now, full disclosure, I did buy more than one Star Bar because if it's as good as you guys say it is, I'm anticipating eating these on the regular. So... I'll be shooting over to BritFix and getting a Star Bar. Yeah. Shooting. On that note, I'm gonna let y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all uh, yeah. entertain the comments while I get our flake and ice cream ready. Oh, what, kind yeah. of, what kind of ice cream? Somebody said in the comments it has to be soft serve. We don't have. We don't have that. soft serve. We have it in the quart okay. gallon bucket. I you guess. get vanilla. I hope. Yeah, vanilla. What's the most popular to eat? Oh, oh shoot! Paul's. Where's the other battery? I don't know. Zach, we just had a battery die. Okay. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Ice cream's on the oven if y'all want to Oh, Ice cream's on the oven. Okay, yeah, so I did, I was trying to ask the question what um, ice cream is most popular with the flake. Is that right? The flake? Yep. Yes, so drop that in the comments. We've got one for vanilla. What else? <laughs> Camera daddy has gone. <laughs> what? Camera daddy has gone. <laughs> that was also a nickname of mine in high school. Camera daddy? <laughs> Camera daddy. <laughs> oh no, not again. Zach changed the battery. We swear we'll have this fixed by the time. Oh, Bicky needs day. to pay the D bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vicky. New battery. Somebody's putting a battery comment in the thing. You get those batteries off Timu? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. I guess we're back and trying to level up the camera again. You're in the ballpark. Yeah, you're pretty close. All right. All right, so Taylor's making the ice cream now. Oh, Vicky. Oh, Vicky is... <laughs> Back in changing the, batteries. Back in the house. Mm, let it melt. Push the flake down to the bottom of the cone. So are we, we're eating ours in what? A cup, I guess, maybe? Steven. Camera Daddy featuring Oak Vicky. Pay the bill remix. Is that ice cream? Uh, I think that's a plenty. Yeah. And then the flake bars are on. Uh, yep. And spoons. Vanilla soft serve. So we don't have soft serve, but we have uh, homemade. What is, what is that? Ice cream spoon vanilla dipped. <laughs> ice cream spoon dipped. Yeah. Does it? We also have caramel drizzle in there if you want to bring some. Should we add caramel or should we just try it plain? Taylor for the win. Crush so, the flake into crumbs and sprinkle it on the ice cream. What's that song? I'm the ice cream. Sam K. Maybe by. we'll go our third battery. Change places the next time the battery dies. Oh, musical chairs. <laughs> We're gonna act like we didn't just read that comment out loud and surprise, surprise y'all. So, do y'all have anything like this in um, the UK? This is uh, magic shell caramel. So you pour it on ice cream, and as soon as it hits the coldness of the ice cream, it hardens, kind of like a turtle shell. I don't like the crunching. Really? Do you do the whole bar or just some of it? I did most. wonder what ice cream is made out of <laughs> in the ice. USA. Sugar, I'm sure. Uh, radioactive chemicals. And vomit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just the chocolate. Apparently. Which, by the way, who in the comment section has seen our last uh, episode, the blindfolded taste test? I prefer UK chocolate, obviously. Taylor, five for five. And honestly, even though it technically, in the as far as the video is concerned, Josh went four for five. He went five. He actually went five for five. He just got himself confused. I and did. uh didn't want you guys thinking that we, we were doing any kind of cheating and post edit, so I had to put four for five, but he really did prefer all five of the UK. 
use the bar like a spoon. I don't think that will. Ooh. Hold up. I'm just going to go ahead and that. the whole thing. I don't most of mine. I'm hoping to have some big pieces in the bottom. Don't powder it up, you barbarians. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I got some big pieces in here. I do too. Carl, don't be too mad yet. I am going to hit the, uh, the caramel. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, thanks, Neil. It was fun for us, too. Um, except some of us yes. had varying opinions. Yeah, Zach <laughs> has no taste. He has the callous taste buds. In my defense, no. <laughs> that no. was the tail end of a 10-hour film session where we had done the Cadbury tournament. We also done Arrow Chocolate that hasn't aired yet. Hey, Did Josh, you say we Josh, done it? Josh, put them up. Put them up, Josh. Five. Five. Five for five. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not what that's supposed to look like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to shake it when you squirt it. Have you tried it yet? How is it? I'm sorry, I did try. I thought we were all doing yeah, it together. I'm waiting on Zach to pour his caramel cream. Or caramel whatever. drizzle. I don't that think does not look I don't think that's okay. <laughs> What's the expiration? 10, 10, 24. <laughs> uh, 2025. Why don't you keep it in the freezer? Furniture polish, yeah, it might as well be. All right, flake and vanilla ice cream. And whatever the salt you have. <laughs> that is very good. Mm. That's yeah. not a rating, but that's very good. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, BCL? Oh, BCL. Mm. We'll we got a BAL, we got a BCL. All these TV brand names we got in here. Roku. Yeah, thanks, Yoshi. Yeah, Zach. Let me see I don't know. Stuff. I'm special sometimes. Seeing how I am a Carmel fan, I didn't get none of it. I don't know what happened to Zach. All right, oh, wait a second. Try it with Marmite what? ice cream? No. No. There's no way. You're kidding. They're playing us. Oh, now hush the rest of you. <laughs> oh, <okay>. comments. <laughs> In today's episode, a few Americans will be trying Marmite and ice cream for the first time. Heinz salad cream? Yep. So, um, I guess it's kind of like our dressing. White ranch? Blasphemy. What is? Mm hmm. That stuff you put on your ice cream? No, it's not blasphemy. That's good. Mm -hmm. Do not put more weight with your ice cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we called up today. We were trying to be set up. <laughs> It's like it for you. It's better than when it was. You, you want some of this caramel stuff no, on it, or, no. or maybe one of y'all gonna be sick tomorrow. A mint, hands down, thing. way better than on its own. Yeah, definitely. Although I was the only one that voted for the flake to move on instead of the twirl. It was because it was what it was up against. The twirl was good. Well, marmite on a digestive. Hey, seventy three. Herd members in the house. The big man. So, I've not seen that comment. That, um, what is it? I haven't seen that person yet in the chat. Big man. In the house. Solid friend is like, man, you're going bad and running. Monty. Marmite is for real men. I'm not a real man, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little boy. <laughs> yeah, Monty, uh, Monty, I think, has been in quite a few live um, premieres of our videos. Shout out to you, Monty. How about Rebus Kid Marmite and peanut butter mix sold in a jar. Disgusting. Now we have peanut butter and jelly that's sold mixed in a jar. Also disgusting. Yeah, that's not that good. <laughs> it's like literally the worst peanut butter you could have. You need some Marmite to fill up the potholes. Hey, that's a Evening, big man. That's what we need to do. Evening. I know it's kind of late over there in the UK. It's like 9.30. Yeah. Still 4.35 uh, here. Parks. Anything after 12? The evening. Howdy. We got S1RD2. I go in at 10 a.m. some days. I'm like, good evening. <laughs> Everything after I get up is evening for me. Why is he in danger? I'm in, I'm in danger. danger. Dude, that is delicious. That is really good. good. I mean, I like it. I like that clone stuff, too. Y'all should know. Yeah. Shocker, right? I will be back momentarily. Okay. I will hold it down. 
Don't worry. We got it. Will you now? Mm. Yeah, as long as the battery doesn't yeah. go out. <laughs> so one of those T-Move batteries. Where's the batteries? Those are actually like the batteries that came with the, the camera itself. So Sausage sandwich is a fried egg. Live streaming just kills. Stay tuned, Monty. Mm -hmm. That's to come. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, I can see more of chicken seasoning. That'd be all right. Chicken seasoning? Mm -hmm. I chicken put on chicken. Seasoning. Very lightly. Chicken squeezing. I'd see where that Branson pickle would be. Yeah, well, I mean, I eat all my grilled cheeses with pickles on the side. I do too. I, 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 I take I some of the, like the pickles. diced pickles and put them on my grilled that cheese. That ups the game of the uh, grilled cheese. Yeah, it sounds like you uh, may need to be packing um, some, well, not packing some bags, but may need to be making an, another plan, Anthony, if you have your partner eat ice cream and marmite. <laughs> Baked on the Ovon. <laughs> Is your yeah. eyesight really that bad? It's getting kind of bad, yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if we should switch seats just because, like, I feel like I'm too close to it, and it hurts. It, like, gives me something in my brain. I spend all day looking at the computer screen, so probably my eyes are shut. The only thing worse than Marmite is Bovril. Bovril? What is That sounds like a bug. <laughs> like a bull weevil. The dad joke in me has to read, don't get salt on your batteries, you'll get done for a salt and battery. Mm. <laughs> There's the snort. The snort makes its return. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, that's so boy. funny, though. Yeah, we're going to have to, so I guess if I'm incorrect, please correct me, but is the application of Branston Pickle kind of like Marmite? Light, thin layer, thinner than what our definition of thin layer is. a beef broth drink. Mm -hmm. Beef drink? Why would you drink beef? People drink bone broth. Well, they like the, the um, Uncle Steve says uh, he he loves the the beef. For a liquid cow. Ugh. Well, we're in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Beefy tea. Ugh. Mm. Nothing about that's that. My that's my name. Like, uh, that's my name from high school. Y'all drink your leftover uh, ramen noodle juice, or do, is there any juice in your ramen noodles? Um, <laughs> you all right, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'll take a minute. What we need to do? Yeah, we're good. Um. You sure you don't need that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. We'll make a, an official post about it later, but um, just found out that uh, one of our viewers, uh, who was very active in chat last year, they uh going through chemo at the end of last year, and... Um, Anyways, I hadn't heard from him in a while, so I reached out to a, um, a mutual follower on Instagram, which is where we used to keep in contact on her story, um, and uh, just got the, the message back that she had passed oh. at the end of last year. So. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. So shout out to, uh, to Rowdy. Um, really uh, beautiful person, and um, yeah. So, I'm going to collect myself and uh, carry on. But, uh, yeah, Rowdy was, uh, had been hanging out with us for a while, um, watching for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. Years and years. And uh, started her, her battle with cancer mid last year. And uh, the last update that I had received on her behalf was that the cancer had not returned. And, um, that they were going to start chemo, and uh, so unfortunately, uh, she has apparently passed away. But um, yeah, so we love you guys. Um, yeah, absolutely. We appreciate each one of you, and uh, you know we know it's a lot of time and effort to sit and watch a couple of. It Idiots is. <laughs> hang couple, out and eat food that you eat every single day. A couple of dummies. <laughs> and then listen to us bash like, oh, 
that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you know, we have a great time, but us sitting here doing this would not mean a thing if it weren't for you guys um, in the comment section, in the chat, keeping us encouraged. Giving us feedback, be it good or bad. So, you know, oh we. God, you pulverized this thing. <laughs> this thing is dust. We, we love you guys. It's a barbarian. What do you expect? Nice. Oh. Uh, yep. Yeah, cancer does indeed suck. Yep. Appreciate the hearts, guys. Yeah. Sorry, um, Carl. <laughs> I don't know if you can see what I did to that flake, but... That's flake dust. <laughs> or a terrorist. Oh, boy. Uh, Man. <sighs> yeah, please stick around. All right, so let's... Uh, We're nice. Let's change the subject a little bit. Chocolate? I do not. It You're makes good. a lot of things better. Yeah. I am I am good to go. So, yeah, um, videos that we have filmed that have not yet hit the airwaves... We've got the Nestle Aero Chocolate. The what? <laughs> the Nest the what? <laughs> Nestle Aero Chocolate. We tried the um, the mint. Uh, we also tried the honey. Was it honeycomb? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, um, and then the original. I wonder uh, what flavor. Yeah. Uh, wonder what flavor is in that honeycomb. Yeah. <laughs> Good gracious. Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'll snort a flake. <laughs> Midor's comment does not in any way, shape, or form contractually obligate us to snort flake if you make a donation at this moment. Just want to <laughs> make that clear. Um, yeah. Uh, the mint, uh, no spoilers, no spoilers on what we thought. Holy moly. Dang. It, you that just go up like your nose? shot that like a pixie stick. Almost <laughs> 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 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Goodness gracious. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. Uh, thank all you guys. <laughs> Nestle. Nestle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something my mom has said all her life, and I guess I picked it up and didn't know any better until I started filming She's wrong. with these guys. <laughs> Yep, so what are some of the other things that we tried for the first time? Um, have, you ever, have you guys ever heard of flumps? Flumps. Flumps. What are the flumps? It's the marshmallow thing that we tried. No spoilers. That you may oh, have already forgotten yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Lemon curd or lime marmalade. Man. Oh, that sounds delicious, though. I'm having a hard time of thinking some of the um, some of the stuff that we had. I know the, like the we last time, like six months ago. It does feel like a while ago. Uh, wham bar, we had wham bar, we had star mix from Harry Bow. Um, yeah, so they have heard of some flumps, flumps, great. flumps. My girlfriend is a flump. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting on it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yep. So big marshmallows, very cool. Get a flump, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slumps are good but basic. Hey, we're good but basic. That is the very definition of who we are. Uh, kids TV series. Okay, oh, we got to react to that. That's crazy. Speaking of reactions, yeah, we, once we get into our reactions, it sounds like we need to react to some flumps. We need advent calendar. Oh, boy. Tangfastics we have had. What the what? story? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> oh my god. Why are those things really long? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't oh. we have to cut those up? I don't know. I thought they were like this long in the back. Uh, oh boy. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. No, you're thing thinking of the right thing. Okay. Were the they that long? The float was <laughs> I would say the <laughs> one of your hidden talents. <laughs> I'm not swallowing. We digress. Watch this whole flump disappear. <laughs> I'm part magician. Peeps <laughs> in your mouth. Uh, if y'all uh, aren't familiar with peeps, like we had up over here in America. Last Easter, we did a blindfolded Peeps taste test. Which I destroyed. Which we tried a ton. or well, I hosted, so I didn't try any of them uh, for the competition. But they tried an assortment of different Peeps flavors 
Dr. Pepper flavored peeps, birthday cake flavored peeps to see who could guess the most. And uh, yeah, the losers had to cram their mouthfuls of as many peeps as they could while saying blanks no one asked for. It's, it's fantastic. If there's one thing I found out on this channel, my superpower is tasting things while blindfolded. Absolutely. I am well. very good Quite at Quite well. Absolutely. No, no doubts about that fact for sure. And also good at getting pranked. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Yeah, so... Um, You're not good with that. <laughs> no, no. Put your flumps away. <laughs> Man, what were some of the other products? We, we had a full episode. Oh, chips. Crisps. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, my Lord. Anthony's comment here. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Tiz was is the kids show you need to react to the show's insanity. Okay. Tiz was. It is a very specific superpower. It is. Uh, one of my very... meaningless talents. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So crisps. We had two different crisps episodes. Um, we tried a couple of additional salty dog crisps. Uh, we also had um, prong cocktail. Yeah. A little, was it, it was like, I don't know if it was Walker. It might have been Walker's. It was like prone cocktail, scampy, little flake things. That almost oh, like yeah, melted in that, your mouth. The ones that smelled like the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. 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 The noose river. Yeah. The noose river. So, yeah, we tried those. And, uh, yeah, so we have lots and lots of stuff coming up here shortly. Skips. Skips. Yep. Thank you. Somebody said that earlier. Moo cakes. Skipped in the loop. So, call out Blue Cakes. <laughs> That's what those chips Steve. make me do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have had Quavers something, yeah, Yoshi, what but was that? it was. I don't recall it. Cheddar. I don't Ch remember. Sour, uh, it was onion. Cheddar. Cheddar and onion? Something, Miller. Um, Who invented the skip? The Walker's Max Strong Range? Oh, Max Strong. Yeah, yeah. So it's like our like um like extra. Yeah, like you know. Bold. We have had pork scratchings. Very delicious. Oh, I love pork scratchings. The crunch on those. Was that the ones that had the crunch? Or was that the hula hoops? No. That was uh, right. that was, was non-alcoholic ice cream. In Florida, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I may have may not have gotten some of that crack from Takush. That was fast delivery. <laughs> Express. Yeah, no doubt. Quavers. Prawn cocktail. So. Man, so yeah, one of the things I, I made a community post about, we want to try some more uh, beverages. Um, what we had... Most recently was not good. We gotta get the alcohol in here. Yeah, so there's a website apparently where we can order some some bevies from your neck of the woods. Um, a sausage sandwich with strawberry jam and Branston pickle. Holy moly! That sounds horrible. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you, Taco for prodding your shoes too. <laughs> <laughs> the other local dealer, <laughs> not so not local, local dealer, <laughs> the unofficial. <laughs> We have a local dealer and we have a national dealer. <laughs> uh, a drinking stream. Hey, that could get really unraveled very quickly. I'm sure you guys. Well, not not really. I've I've not been drunk in a very long time. Although I have the occasional drink. So I can't say the same. No, you were probably drunk last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Off the air, people. I'll say something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I must ask then, are your alcoholic beverages at least better than bubblegum bar? Wow. <laughs> rough, man. Oh, boy. And it takes a lot of coordination, too, because like I, I have to drive, and obviously I can't drive under the influence. Yes, please don't. Um, so I would have to stay and things of that nature. So that's, With that's, Oreo. Oh, that's what it was. So we, we actually, after the Cadbury tournament, we filmed another episode of Cadbury Products where we have the Cadbury Oreo chocolate bar. Yes. And then we also tried the Cadbury Dime. Not Dane. 
It looks like Dame. <laughs> yeah, Dame. 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 Good chocolate. Um, and uh, what, what else was in that episode for Cadbury? It was... Um, oh, oh, the Freddo. Yeah. Tried Freddo. Uh, no, we have not tried the Star Bar yet. But we have it in studio. We quite possibly may be trying it at the end of our live stream for a future episode. We have plenty of uh, Cadbury products that we've not yet tried. The Eclairs. We have Puds. Uh, Cadbury Puds. <laughs> Puds. Say it one more time. <laughs> uh, wagon Wheels. Yeah, you too, Sergeant Steel. Thanks for hanging out. Thank and, you, uh, for the donation. Yeah, it's been it's been great fun. Appreciate all the liveliness now in I'm, the chat. Now I'm doing it, too. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man, how long have we been live? An hour and a half. Twenty minutes of that was a uh, computer problem. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Battery. I wonder if I can cut the first half of the stream out whenever it gets posted uh, to YouTube. Not sure if that's a, a thing or not. Cadbury egg, egg and spoon. spoon. Actual chocolate crack. edge you crack with a spoon. Damn. Oh, wow. my gosh. That sounds amazing. Ambrosia custard. That sounds That also amazing. sounds good. I just found a song for by the group Ambrosia. Actually, Steve, Stephen, I think uh, you and I may have been corresponding uh, when we were going back and forth on music. Uh, there is a song by Ambrosia. Never heard of the group. Great song from like the 70s. Ambrosia? No, I have not. What? I was thoroughly impressed with the harmonies in the chorus. So I am a caramel lover. I know y'all know that. Somebody wrote this in the comments. We should try Rolos. And we ha we do have Rolos here. We All right, don't know this guy's surname. Anthony's surname. Okay, so it's got to be. I'm going to go Noblet. I'm going to say Noble. Um, noblet. So we got two Noblets and one Noble. Noble. Yes, we would definitely go to an English pub and compare with American bars, and I will lead that episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't be surprised if you all get a uh, uh, a location service dropped in the Discord for a meet and greet, free of charge, of course, uh, when we get over to the UK. Do and, we like uh, no by name, no by nature? <laughs> I dig it. Galaxy gingerbread hot chocolate. What? That sounds kind of cool. That does sound delicious. So the <laughs> a small knob, Pakush <laughs> again. The <laughs> uh, actually the first UK taste test that we did when we got back home was the Cadbury drinking chocolate, which I remember us all saying it's incredibly yeah um, light years ahead of. Yes, I saw those in the discard. We'll have to check those out. <laughs> The uh, Horlicks from Riffix, also squash and... Oh, yeah. Where's that? Ducozada. Comment. Middle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yep. Ducozada. Scotch, Scotch eggs. Squash. Hmm. Steven. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have not tried Scotch eggs. That sounds like it would be good. Zach, if you like great harmonies, you should listen to Pentatonics. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Been They're following Pentatonics since they were on... But you um, didn't know who Ambrosia was. Hey, cut me some slack. I don't know everything about every band ever. Pentatonix. This is the music guy, in case you didn't know. Is incredible. Uh, Christmas music is out of this world. The things that they do with zero instruments present is ridiculous. Greg's sausage roll. Do we have those? We got those, don't we? Mm -hmm. I thought we had something in the freezer that was... No, we have we have uh, blood pudding. Fitty's Jamaican Ginger Cake. I swear we've got something of Greg's in the refrigerator. That sounds... That would be impressive. Be I don't old, think we do. It'd be over it. <laughs> Jurassic <laughs> bread. Uh, Home Free, yep. Home Free is also a great group as well. I don't know that. Uh, I think Mr. H has reacted to a couple of Home Free uh, videos. Them doing like National Anthem... And something else as well. That guy. Yep. He's a pretty cool fellow. Something we've also not tried yet is Cadbury Fudge. So we're looking forward to that. We've got one of those over there. He's um, just the Oak Bicky music guy. <laughs> Cut him some slack. <laughs> That's all I am, Oak Bicky music guy. Yeah. Oh, M and S Sweets. Huh. Smith Black pudding. Bacon Black pudding. We've mean? done that. No, we haven't. We haven't. Oh, we. Mm, you're thinking, you're thinking Christmas, Christmas pudding. pudding. It's yeah. completely yeah. different. Like, my bad. That's the 
We, one sauce is good. Yes, we do have that in the in the freezer currently. Bacon fries. Did we, we have some those? type of fry? I don't remember, I don't remember what, what brand it was. Oh no, that was the Worcestershire <coughs> Worcestershire yeah. French fries or something. Mr. Kipling's cakes. Oh, Mr. Kipling. We have hobnob fries right to the, the the corner of our camera here. Mm. Boom, Mr. Oh. Kipling's sticky toffee sponge pudding. Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Percy pigs. We've we had some we Percy pigs. Some Percy. We did have some Percy. We have problems with Present. And let's I don't know if I put this on screen during the last stream or not, but uh, also not yet tried. We have toffee flavored poppets. <laughs> Poop it. <laughs> oh, speaking of fish and oh, chips. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of fish and chips. The chef is here. We have, we will be having fish and chips for dinner oh. tonight. The and fisherman and the chef. We'll be recording uh, oh, fish and chips. Oh, that's what you were doing yesterday? Yeah. Oh. I, had, I had to get us some. Catch uh, our dinner. Yeah. Out yeah. in this room? Yeah. Out on the bottom of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I heard it. No, definitely not. Okay, Way further east. <laughs> Poppets are great. There's a guy on here from London that made blood pudding after he cut his finger. Hmm. That's probably not wise. That's bloody pudding. Wustas. I feel, I feel like I sound like Arnold <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Sure, Wustas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should do. We should do our best impressions of the impression episode was great. Oh, oh yeah, it was yeah. definitely fun. I'm not gonna say it was great. <laughs> Josh is Sean. All right, Josh, Josh give us Sean a Sean Connery. Connery. Read the chat. Yeah, and show read Takushas. You need to find fish and chips biscuits. Have <laughs> I, <got it. laughs> mm. <laughs> I got to go mm. before you I? You have to. It's, it's, like it's a, when he blew <laughs> blew the like everybody's hair back. Mm. Oh, oh God. no! Good thing I waited. Timu battery. Need some classic cakes like Battenberg and Victoria Sponge. Zach, if you like music, you should see Les Dawson. Les Dawson. Wait a second. Maybe you should see more Dawson. I'm an idiot. What? Yeah, I mean, it's not charging. No, 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 no. He can direct. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to wait till I'm back on camera to establish how much of an idiot I am. He could have been charging the whole time. Um, I'm an idiot. Okay, Welcome so... Welcome back, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the batteries are not dying in the camera. The camera has a display sleep timer of 30 minutes, which is why when I unplugged the HDMI cable, the screen just came back on. Wow. <laughs> so there must be plenty of battery life in there. Um. Uh, yeah. So I was wondering why, like, clockwork. Oh, it was like I was thirty minutes. minutes. Never gave why us. Why do you? Why do you watch us? <laughs> I'm sorry. We just dumb. Dom, the idiot. Uh, we ate all the dom. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're aware of your intelligence level. <laughs> yes. Uh, Somehow, one like, of us at this table has three college degrees. Yeah. And one of us no intelligence. A few crumbs short of a bicky. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the tagline on my oh bicky merch. A few crumbs short. I hope Bicky. Quotations, a few crumbs short. You also pronounce this guy's name as Nubli. <laughs> Nubli. <laughs> you, you, well, you got Michael Bublé. You're a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, a man. Dummy. Yep, so the batteries are not as bad as I thought they were. Yeah. I was wondering why we didn't get no warning or anything. It just dead. Yep. It cut off. Fell asleep. What's the Discord? All right, let me link that. Drop that back in there. Yeah. Keep us alive in the Discord. Yeah. If we didn't have All stupid stuff like this going on, man. Yeah, what would we be pretty, pretty lame of? Yeah. Uh, let's see. There is the link to the Discord. I just wanted to drop that in there. Boop. I thought you were doing all those emojis at the bottom. <laughs> I was like, wow. Uh, oh, man. Chewing the fat with mates. Well, Is that a phrase of like... Chewing the fat? Talking shop? Talking shop. Yeah, I guess. I 
chewing the fat. No, oh, thank you, Christy. Oh man. Or Kirsty, I'm sorry. We're keeping we're keeping Uncle Steve and Uncle Steve. Sorry, if that if that bothers you, please let me know. But I legitimately have an uncle whose name is Stephen Barnes. Oh, he, so uncle. <laughs> um the last two lives. Oh. No, he's saying that you've done this for the last oh. two lives, you mm. big dummy. <laughs> You moron. <laughs> I've got to buy more batteries. <laughs> oh. Just literally bought all the batteries out of the warehouse. <laughs> we got cases and pallets over here in the corner. Uh, every, every 30 minutes, these batteries are dying. Thank but... God Stephen sent us 20 pounds earlier. We can go buy more batteries. <laughs> Forget plane tickets. <laughs> we need more batteries. What's the brand name of those batteries so I can put in stock? <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Oh, it's Canon. They should be good. They are. I thought you were saying it's Canon, like it's a Canon event, like it has to occur. Oh, like I mean, it could work either way. Uh, it's Canon. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I have to let this play out. Steven is okay with you calling him Uncle. Uncle Steve. Do you have any relatives called Yoshi? Not um, that I'm aware of. If I have a child in the next five <laughs> years, I'll name them Yoshi. Whoa. <laughs> Careful what you promise. <laughs> For so all we know. Having a natter just chatting? Never heard of having a natter either. I'm, I'm, a natter I'm day. glad that we can chew the fat together. Chew Dave. the fat. Just Dave. You're not just Dave. You are Dave. Thank you for your time, Emma. Yeah, no, thank you, Emma. Emma's uh I know it's a hard watch watching this moron to my right. Emma Emma has left us quite a few encouraging comments, which a lot of you have. Um, and again, you know, we appreciate the ones that tell us we're doing it wrong because that helps us to do it better the next time. Uh, but the ones that you guys are like, you know, I'm binge watching the episodes, all that stuff is fuel to keep us going, and uh, we really appreciate it. Four it's a chin wag. I guess that would be chewing the fat. Is that the same thing? <clears throat> Having a chin wag. Or a tail wag. Never a chin wag. No chin wag? Not much of a chin wagger? Chin wag. Let's just recap, recount Love's all friend. the stupid things. <laughs> <Daniel. laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. That's something else that's very different from America. And in the UK, over here, we would say, my brother's name is Dave. But you guys, I think, typically say, like, my brother is called Dave. Like, he's called Dave. Mm -hmm. Whereas we would say, you know, this guy's name is Josh. From what I pick up, you guys would say, he's called Josh. Mm -hmm. I call myself Josh. Yeah, I was just going to recount all the stupid things that Zach has done since we've been live. Oh, good night. We'd he, be here for a whole other hour. He had the microphone turned backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Which, this is not just for the live. I've been using this thing backwards, apparently, the entire time I've had it. Um, we couldn't figure out how to get the other camera hooked up. His new camera. That gives me hope for the other camera, though. Display. <laughs> you've been turning the display off. Yeah. Uh, poods. Yeah, poods. <laughs> It's got no blade. <laughs> what else? I'm let's just keep right. let's keep it rolling. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Listen. I'm gonna add this to the bullet point in uh, back of my Oak Bicky T-shirt. That's fine. With check marks. That is okay. Oh boy! All right, guys. Well, we really appreciate you all hanging out with us. This has been a really fun and unexpected live of technical difficulties and moronic choices. Uh, but nonetheless, you guys have kept it alive in the chat, and we appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out with us. We now have content to film so that we will have content to edit and release out to you on a weekly basis. So wish us the best of luck with our fish and chips, as well as our pootings, and <laughs> <laughs> make sure if you'd like to keep in touch with us throughout the course of the week, check our community posts, but for more up-to-date and um, personal interaction, join the Discord. And, uh, yeah, check out the merch site. If you'd like to send us anything, check out the mailbox address. But without further ado, Rich, all that leaves no, us to hold say. Hold on. You're going to stop. Shout out to each one of you for spending your time with us on this fabulous Sunday. We greatly appreciate it. And without you guys, we could not do it. And also a very special shout out to our official sponsor, Bridge Fix.
who provides us all of our UK products that we are able to taste test and judge unceremoniously. Be on the lookout for some new emojis to be added to the membership tier uh, tonight. Um, so all of you new members, members that joined a couple of days ago, you'll have some new emojis. And then also we're going to try and get some like edit, like uncut, edit, unedited footage that we can release uh, specifically to members exclusively. Uh, so be on the lookout for that as well. All that leaves us to say is this has been blank. So no one asked for 